So some time ago, popular Yugi tuber Simo started something called Master Duel Masochist, a challenge series in which a brand new account builds a deck out of five master packs, and with every win, you gain a new one as well as any bonus legacy packs to improve it. So we watched it and thought, this looks fun, let's give it a shot. What's up guys, Toaster Corgi Gaming back here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Masochist. Now, if you watch the live stream, I apologize for getting toxic and salty, but hey, no sleep, going crazy, fighting blue eyes and sword soul over and over and over, you get pissed. It's just the way it is. Can't win them all, but you can try. And besides, it's not even ragey. By comparison, I ain't no Tyler 1. But we're gonna get right into it. I mean, I'd say 13 wins is not bad. Speaking of blue eyes. I will admit, seeing some new faces on stream was actually pretty fun. If you want me to do it again, drop a comment down below and let me know. Well, we beat Labyrinth once, we can try and do it again. And we now actually have a use for this. We can actually use this with two other targets of Predaplants. We can actually summon out our Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, if we're lucky. But we have a plan. And you're in my hand. That plan just went out the window, possibly. Unless we can pop it ourselves, which we do have the possibility, if I remember to put the right card in. Okay, alright. What we working with here? So some Labyrinth Moss from the deck. Probably gonna be the big mommy milky. The big boss. Can I special summon moss from the extra deck? That ain't gonna bother them. Yep, okay, that's the second one. Throwing up all them legs. Swords are cool though. Is there lore to that? I was about to say skin line, but that, that's not it. Hmm. Trap card? Very likely. That's all they run. Like, Jinzo can shut down... Like I said before, Jinzo can shut down Labyrinth as well as uh, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, but you can't have both out, because then you basically just play yourself. Let's just go straight into battle phase. Why didn't you activate that when I started it? Honestly, why didn't you start with that? Hmm. Part of me doesn't think we're going to win this because we don't have back row removal, so I'll just cut to the chase. Okay, not a bad going hand going second. We got Banisher of Radiance, and we got a 1900 beater. Again, the Sacrilliant, whatever that thing is. And we got Gleef. Oh, we're against Roxas. <laughs> Labyrinth, oh my lord. All day of blue eyes and sword soul. <laughs> it's like now it's just nothing but labyrinths. I wonder if we can make it three for three. But we got Gleef. There really is no way to counter that. There really isn't. Player's name Roxas. 
my question, why couldn't we get a remake of 358 over two days on better hardware? That actually would have been cool. Like, play the Organization 13 with your friends online, kick some ass, that'd be cool. But no. They want to rush out Kingdom Hearts 4. That's probably the first one they added. Am I getting the coin toss right? Nope. Well, we know what's going to happen. Moving on. Moving on to the next one. Okay, no extra deck. Ah. Yeah, we only pulled Dur we never pulled Duradark during the whole stream until I brought him up, and then he shows up in the next hand. Can we make it three for three on Labyrinth? They've got a hand trap or something. No extra deck. Also on the stream, we ran into our first uh, self OTK deck. I don't know how Simo finds them so quickly, but we actually found our first one. And an Archfiend player, like pure Archfiend deck, which I was honestly surprised. I mean, if I get beaten by Jurak during an anthology event, I'm not going to be mad. I'm actually going to applaud, because that that's pretty awesome. Because nobody plays that. And don't start going, oh, they were probably using a True King Dinosaur or something. No, it was pure Jurak. I wasn't even mad. Nobody ever plays that. Like, what's the most shocking archetype you ever saw got put against? What's the most shocking thing? Let me know in the comments. As well as if you'd like to see me do another live stream for Master Duel. Probably not as long as that last one. Uh, holy crap. I was starting to doze off during how long some people take their turns. Kind of like this guy. Who just take... This is probably one of those stall bots. Name kind of seems like it gives it away. You see a name like that and you're like, that is probably a bot. Self-OTK? Or is it Toon? Nobody runs the original Toon World. Nobody ever does. Not even the Toon players. Once they got Toon Kingdom, it was just so much better. Yep, Self-OTK. We take those. We actually take those. I will also try and keep the videos shorter from now on, just because, A, they're kind of boring. But we all know how this one's going to turn out. Only issue, if there's a cost, I don't think the game will let you pay the full cost. Imagine you have to actually have exact change to kill yourself. Any day now. I feel like I've seen this guy before. Like, in someone's video, I've seen this account. And can someone explain to me what the purpose of the uh, self-TK bots is for? Like, what, what do they get out of it? If anything. Alright. What we getting today... All right, we got Go 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 Gigas, Gigas, yeah, Gigas. 
Uh, level 4, 2200 defense, we special summon a go 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 monster. I don't think if we have any. Marine says Battle Ocean, not another one of those. Hero Barrier, we don't have elemental heroes. Boreas Sharp, you manage to carve from the graveyard, target a black wing you control. We don't have black wings. Gravity Collapse, send one phase of synchro you control to the graveyard. We can't turbo outer synchros fast enough for that. Burden of the Mighty. This is good. This is a good card. Gen X Blast Fan. Eh. Something. Okay. Adventure Engine. You cannot attack unless you control an Adventure Token. When you can only use each of the following effects of this once per turn. If you control an Adventure Token, so some of this kind of hand. Said Trap that mentions an Adventure Token. Okay. So we need the other cards in order to make use of that. But it is a fire attribute, though. Uh, dark Gen X. So, Burden of the Mighty, that's coming in. And now on to the four Master Packs. We won. I mean, we didn't really win, do much, but we take it. Synchro Change. Uh, remove from play Synchro you control. So, some of Synchro from the extra deck, same level. Okay, we need more Synchros for that. Double Passe. Direct attack, face of hex, Direct attack instead of inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the attack target you control. Huh. Wouldn't be bad. We take damage to the face, but we can inflict damage to our opponent and then attack again next turn. So not terrible. It's an idea. It's risky, but it is an idea. Another one of the yellow luster shield. Probably not happening. Trap of board eraser. I think that's a Japanese thing. When an effect that inflicts damage to your life points is activated, negate the damage to your life points. Your opponent then selects one card from his or her hand to discard. Okay, that's not terrible if we get hit with effect damage, like, um, Sword Soul. Actually, that could work pretty well against Sword Soul, because then they, can't, they gotta pitch something from the hand. Mighty Warrior. We can actually use this now, instead of having to use it from a deck. So that's good. And Rose Warrior of Revenge. Inflict 300 damage to your opponent when it inflicts battle damage. Okay. It's a tuner. Level 4 tuner. Not bad. And the last one. Temple of the Sun. Face a monster, especially from the Grey Air, gain 300 attack. Not that great. Uh, Deformation. Destiny Hero. Not great either. I ain't touching heroes. Alright. We are up first, and we got our Banisher of the Radiance. Doesn't activate it. Since it would now okay, clue me in. If it's not discarded properly, that means that it can't activate, right? Since it was banished instead. But it is another labyrinth player, so I'm like there are plenty. So like you get one sub for every labyrinth player we find in this video. Oh boy. <laughs> That'll be great. Send this card from here to the graveyard target face up on your controls. I'm gonna hold off. I don't think we have any fiend type monsters, and they don't. We probably could have ditched uh, Auspice, our Sword Soul, but we could hold on to it just to play it safe. Are they gonna body it? It looks like it. Are they seriously... Okay, they can't go for the OTK. Unless they're going to go into a rank 8. That's very likely the uh, ultra rare trap right there. The one that summons uh, their bosses from deck. Hmm. 
We do have Gungnir. And you... If your Link Summon can't be destroyed by battle, I think they're going to immediately Link away. If we have a Reptile Monster in our Graveyard. Yep, there it is. The Welcome Labyrinth. They always have it on hand. have an out. We can activate that. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm not going to target this card with card effects while they control a set card. It also, can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Yeah, Jinzo, best card. <laughs> now, if we had Burden of the Mighty, we could attack, we could have bodied her, we could bodied her, but unfortunately, nope. Not yet, at least. You activate... They activate Welcome Labyrinth, Normal Trap. Hmm. Does anybody play Val Valance? Does anybody play those or did everybody? Yes! We'll take it. We actually beat it. We'll take it. All right. Let's see what we get today. Let's see what we get this one. Uh, Triamids. I don't know what they do. Butterfly Oak. Alright. When a bonus monster declares an attack, target the attack monster, change the defense station, and equip this card to it. Okay, that's kind of weird. Mythical Beastiomorph. Place a spell counter on this card. Add a spell from deck to hand. Okay. Ogdoatic Origin. Place a reptile you control for a battle opponent's card fight. You can target one card your opponent control, send it to the graveyard. If this card is in the field, send it to a opponent's card fight. You can send cards from the top of your opponent's stack. You put her names in your graveyard. That we can actually use. Another Shinai. Overpowering Eye. Uh, we don't really have zombies. Okay, and we need Supe. Okay, another worm. Tribute a continuous spell trap we control instead of a monster. So this would actually be good for us because. Well, we don't have true Draco or true Kings, but nonetheless. All right, let's see what we get. Spirit of the Winds, level five. Uh, old school card, nope. Killer Needle. Hmm, another old school card. That's a classic Weevil. 
It's weird how much Weevil cheated in the anime, but no, Esperoba cheats. They're gonna throw him out. Weevil cheats his entire career. He's fine. Each time this card destroys one monster in your opponent's night field, it gains 500 attack. Aren't you like a weaker version of Myth Mythical Beast of Circuit? Spell Absorption. Okay. Probably won't really have a use for that unless we run more spells, but hey, what you gonna do? Okay, it's not the best, but not terrible. Ooh, Red Eyes logo, or icon. I can get behind that. Primitive Butterfly? Bee Troopers. I haven't seen you in a while. Time for a deck that'll really bug me. Increases the level of all insects you control by one. Are there level six insects? Dragon Bite. Hmm. Guard Mantis. I think this is a newer edition. Though it's kind of got weird feet. Okay, they can go into a seven, eight, or nine. Go for level four. What are you up to, I wonder? Unless you're going to go for, uh, well, no, you can't really go for um, Ballista with a level four from the two tuners. They got the full insect deck going. Making Weevil proud, aren't you? Resonance Insect. I've heard that's very good for insect decks, but there really aren't that many mainstream ones other than Bee Troopers, and nobody really uses Battle Wasps. Which is a shame. I actually liked them. They were kind of interesting. Kind of cool. It's like, who swarms better than bugs? Malevolent Sin. Target a monster, I control and banish it until my next standby phase. Okay, so which means that will come back. Not sure if that did anything important, but whatever. Banish two to use. Hmm. Goki pole. Wonder if you could actually train bugs to do that, or somehow get them to like totem pole up. What you going for? Yeah, I found out Doom Dozer is actually a five D's card. I thought it was Zexel or something, but nope, five D's. What about Guard? Guard Maze just kind of feels like one of those Zexel archetypes, because you had like the four dudes, the Mosquito, the Spider, the Cicadas. Kind of like, feels like something they would use. 
And then you got a random jellyfish. <laughs> I'm like, we got three insects and a jellyfish. Why is the jellyfish here? We don't know. He just is. I'm gonna destroy your monster. So bye bye, buggy. Still got two more attacks. Add card to hand. If we can just get a polymerization, that would be great. Because then we could actually use starving venom. Your rank will go up by three, which means you could probably rank up. In b main phase two, into Bane, yeah, Bane phase two. It's the Bane phase, he's getting jacked up on that juice. They didn't do that. Okay. Ah. That's why they're called Guard Mantis. Activate Red Geki Bottle. We don't really have an out for this, but. Touch material from this card, add a reptile from deck to hand. Hmm. Take out your butterfly. Give us some more life points. Even if those two attack as they are, they won't be enough to take out either of our monsters. The only threat right now is the Xyz, which he hasn't ranked up. Okay, that effect is I think they may have to have no materials. Like for balancing purposes or something. Wouldn't do that. Too late. <laughs> that was funny. Alright, so now we only take a thousand damage as opposed to one hundred. Or two thousand. Now they can't banish our monster anymore. And then they'll just switch back to defense mode during my turn. And the effect's already been used. Uh, 
That thing's just gonna keep getting stronger. Come on. Give me the card. Give me the points. Now, uh, what are we gonna do? Set you and play it safe. Yeah, it goes to level thir goes to rank thirteen next. Wonder what would happen if it keeps going up and up and up. Is it infinite? Like same with the FA motorhome transport. Are they are their level gains infinite? Now he's ranking up. Eventually. Seven sins. Which is a rare for being a 4K beat stick. If summon this way, the following effect cannot be activated. You can just banish as much personal monster your opponent controls as possible. Okay. Now, does our Predator Plant count as special summon? This is the question. Change the Dragobite. Increase their level by four. Which, unfortunately, you can't really synchro with that now. Because there's no level seven, no level 13 synchros. But that doesn't mean you're gonna, gonna try and do something else with it. It's gonna go for the Breta Plant. Yep. Nice try. Hmm. Only problem <clears throat> is that we can get rid of their monsters, but we need to attack two more times. And unfortunately, I don't think we have the health for it. Unless we can pull Vernasilf, we can actually do it. It's not exactly Vernasilf. But I just have to attack. That's all I gotta do, buddy. And my monsters aren't special summons, so I don't have to worry about seven sins. But your life points will be protected. It's a shame this wasn't my elite battle guard, or goblin elite attack squad, or whatever it is. Elite battle guard. I think that's the wrong archetype. Because then it would have been switched to defense, and we could have used that. Banish three, Beargrim. All right, insect beatdown. That's a fiend. That's an insect. This person from a hand or graveyard. Sorry, what? Hold up, I'm sorry. What happened? Well, I'm gonna have to look into that.
Savannah.